I'm pretty excited because I am unboxing the Look 14, no, the Look Pivot 14 bindings today. I just received them and I'm buying them this year to be part of my setup with the uh, Rossignol Soul 7HD from 2019. This is going to be my kind of backcountry ski uh, for this year. So anyway, uh, first of all, let's just open up this box and check it out. Um, and inside the big box is a smaller box. All right. Why don't they use such a big box, huh? All right, so this is the actual uh, packaging of it. Uh, let's see, they got the right thing. Yeah, it's the Look Pivot 14. Um, so I got the Pivot 14. I actually originally wanted the 18 because it's made out of metal. It looks a bit more sturdy, but uh, you know, I'm only 135 pounds, so the DIN values on that one, it's eight. I think it's eight to 18. Uh, so I would be using you know, DIN right at the bottom of maybe nine or 10 or something. Um, so this is five to 14. So maybe I'll be using like a nine, which is kind of in the middle. So uh, the color I got was this uh, kind of weird orange and yellow color. And um, you can check that out, quite cool. And I got this color, it was available in black as well, but I got this color because I thought it would it would kind of go with the, the yellow on the skis. It is pretty much the exact same shade of greenish yellow puke color that the uh, Rossignol Soul 7 <laughs> HD is. So yeah, pretty much the same. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to put it on. We'll put it on here and show you guys what it is gonna kind of look like uh, once it's all set up. So here is the uh, Here's the back of the binding as well. Uh, this is the 115 millimeter uh, brake. So it's actually quite a wide brake. The ski is only 106 underfoot um, at the waist, but obviously you need a, a brake uh, equal or, or wider than that. So the next uh, brake size up is uh, 115 millimeter, uh, millimeters. So it's, it's a little bit slightly wider than the ski, but you know, whatever, you can't really uh, get around that. And uh, see if I can just put that up. Yeah, so that we can better demonstrate that. Oh, I don't know if I can. But anyway, that's basically what it's gonna look like. Um, so it is a pretty cool setup. Uh, the advantage with these bindings as well is that they have sort of a kind of safety feature in that not only can they release like this, but also kind of laterally. So it's, uh, it's good for your you know, legs and your knees, less chance of injury uh, when they release. Uh, I like my bindings to be quite, uh, you know, quite sturdy, I don't like to release too easily. I definitely always take the Skia 3 type when I rent. Um, so I'm gonna make them, you know, a reasonably high din setting uh, for my body weight, which is actually gonna be quite low because I'm not very heavy at all. Um, but yeah, that's basically what they're gonna look like. And uh, I can't wait to use them and uh, kind of show you guys uh, these bindings in action. And they do go quite well with the ski. So these cost um, around $300 online. I think I got them from Amazon. Um, you know, they are available. This is the actual 2020 uh, model of it that just came out. Guys, if you like this kind of videos, unboxings, more reviews of ski gear and stuff, and uh, later on in the season, some actual ski trips and uh, tricks, tutorials, and all that kind of stuff, uh, feel free to subscribe to Generation Snow. We'll be posting much more videos for you later on in the season. Thanks, guys. And if you're watching this, you are Generation Snow.